This video shows you how to install Ring Peephole Cam, a smart, wire-free security camera and doorbell that replaces your peephole. First, fully charge the included battery by plugging it into a USB port or power supply with the included cable. You'll know it's fully charged when only one of the LED lights is lit. Now, let's grab the included peephole key and check if there's paint covering either side of your peephole, which could make it hard to unscrew. If so, use the toothed edge of the peephole key to remove any paint covering the edges of your lens or the rear of the viewer. Next, we'll use the peephole key to unscrew your peephole. Place the flat edge into the slots and rotate counterclockwise. Once it's loose, you can unscrew and remove it by hand. Inspect both sides of the peephole for sharp or jagged edges. If needed, use the peephole key to smooth the openings. With the indoor side removed, the outdoor portion should slide right out. If this isn't your forever home, you may want to store your peephole in case you have to reinstall it one day. Simply screw the two ends back together and store it in a safe place. With the peephole removed, insert the outdoor assembly through the hole until your peephole cam sits flush against the door. If your peephole cam has yellow tape securing the cable to the tube, peel it off and discard it now. Now let's check to see if you'll need the adapter. It's used to help peephole cam fit doors with larger holes. You may not need it, but let's find out for sure. Slide the adapter onto the tube towards the hole. If it doesn't fit, that's fine. You won't need it. If it does fit, insert it all the way until the rim is flush with the door. Now let's set up the indoor half of your peephole cam. Hold the rear assembly by the thin edge of its body. Then grasp and pinch the cover here and pull them apart. You can set the cover aside for now. Next, carefully guide the indoor assembly onto the tube until it's flush with your door. Make sure you don't accidentally push the outdoor assembly out of the door. Now it's time to remove the connector cable from the tube. Grasp either side of the exposed tab and delicately draw it out of the tube until there's no more slack left. If your peephole cam has an orange cap over the tube, remove and discard it now. Let's secure the front of your peephole cam. Place the tightening nut onto the tube, then tighten firmly by turning clockwise by hand or using the peephole key. Make sure it's secure enough so that it doesn't rotate freely. The front side may shift slightly while tightening, so make sure it's level. Next, firmly press the connector into the port, ensuring it's connected. Then guide the tab into the channel and slide it down to secure the remaining slack in the cable. Slide the battery into the compartment. There will be a click when the battery is secure. To set up your peephole cam, open the Ring app and tap Set up a device. Then choose Doorbells and follow the in-app instructions to complete setup. Once setup is complete, place the cover back on your peephole cam. Then your peephole cam will be ready to use. We hope this video has helped you set up your Ring peephole cam. Need more help? Visit us at ring.com.